In this video, you will learn how to quickly and easily create colorful caustics using Keyshot. Try saying that five times fast. You can download the Keyshot file from the file vault at willgibbons.com. Now, did you know the word caustic comes from the Greek and Latin words for burnt and burning? If you concentrate enough sunlight into a small area, it can actually start a fire. And if you try to render caustics on a laptop, you just may set fire to that too. Now, when we refract light rays through a curved piece of glass, the light is concentrated to a small area within the shadow of the glass. This phenomenon is called focused caustics. So here's what we're going to need to create some crispy key shot caustics. One, a 3D model of a glass vessel. Two, a bright small light source. And three, a surface for the caustics to be cast onto. For the 3D model, I created a simple stemless wine glass in Fusion 360. You can do this in any 3D program by drawing the profile of the object and revolving it around an axis. Just be sure it's an enclosed solid and not a surface without any thickness. After importing the model into Keyshot, press Ctrl G to add a ground plane, double click it to change its material type to diffuse. The darker the color, the easier it will be to see the caustics. Next, press Ctrl-5 on the keyboard to add a plane and move it up and off to the side of your scene and rotate it so it points at the glass. Double click it to change its material type to Spotlight. In the Environments tab, set the brightness to 0.05 to better see the spotlight effect. Back in the Material tab, set the spotlight to an appropriate brightness. The ground should appear light gray, but not pure white. Next, double click the glass and change its material to dielectric. Solid glass will work, but dielectric gives us a few more options for material customization. Set the transmission color to a light color, and if you need to, you can increase the transparency distance to make the glass a little bit more clear. In the lighting tab, choose product mode and enable caustics. Now you should see the focused caustics in all of its glory. Let's look at ways to improve our scene. I'll find a compelling camera angle and create a new camera there. Next, I'll double click the dielectric material and open the material graph to add some texture to the caustics. Right click to add a radial brush texture, connect it to the bump socket of the dielectric material. Next, right click and add a noise texture and set the scale to about 100 millimeters. Then right click on the line that connects the radial brush texture and the dielectric material and choose bump add. Connect the noise texture to bump two. Double click the bump add node and reduce the height of bump one to about 0.75. Now we should see some horizontal rings and some waviness in the caustics caused by these two bump textures. Finally, if you want to soften the caustics or shadow, find the spotlight in the scene tree and double click it and increase the radius until you see the effect that you want. And that's it, there you have it. Study photos and add more detail to make the scene more interesting. Until next time, Happy rendering.